So before we add the warmth onto the jug here, I'm just going to add a little bit of the reflected light onto this part of the jug, just so it's closer in tone to what we're looking at. Because it's a bit of blue light that's hit, I'm keeping it quite cool that's being reflected onto it. We can work over that again, but it just helps to give that sense that this is coming round rather than it being too light on that shadow side. Okay, great. So now we're starting to get more of a feel for this painting, we can start to add in some of that real warmth of this orange on this side of the jug. So with the burnt sienna, the first part we're just going to put in with it absolutely pure, just going to dilute it slightly just with the water, just so it flows a bit better. With that pure, that can start to go on this side. You'll notice with burnt sienna, it's quite a translucent pigment. So these areas where you've got this dark shadow in, you can start to you know, work the pigment over the top of that. And you'll start to see some of the dark still coming through underneath. The jug's a bit lighter down here, so I'll go in just with a bit of water initially and I'll lighten it with a bit of white in a second. So I might need a couple of layers on this top part just to get that real nice dark colour that we've got, that really lovely orange coming through. So now I'm just going to add a bit of glazing liquid. This is acrylic glazing liquid gloss. I'm running out of space. Put that there. And what we're going to do with the filbert brush Make this quite loose and just work it over this middle section of the jug. Won't even be tempted to work it over the whole of this jug actually.
When that's drying off, I'm just going to lighten off a bit this bottom part. You probably have a more organised palette than this when you're doing it. Also notice there's tiny little bits of lighter on these edges, just where the light hits it. start to use some of the darker pigment that we had before. Just a little bit of the blue just to you know darken it down slightly. And you can start to darken this area as you kind of pull the form around. Just check the drawing, see if there's any parts I just want to darken off a bit. shadow area hits. Just clean up some of this with a bit of the cleaner blue.
clean out those lines. And just with a pure white, Check any parts of your drawing or any parts of the shadow that don't really seem to work or you just need to blend parts of it. So on here, this line here, I might soften that out a bit or this angle in here, I think I'm just going to put in a bit with a darker colour. Just so I've got more of that shadow on that hand or side. Bit of that dark in there. But there we have a very simple jug painting with acrylics you can easily do at home. Just two colours. Have a go and let me know how you get on. This is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School. Click the link below to learn more advanced acrylic painting techniques on my course The Art of Acrylics.